nine. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. When I think about uh, the first adventures into space, capsules and, and rockets that they went up in, it's uh, pretty amazing. Lunar landing, of course, happened when I was very young. Sitting in front of the TV, uh, listening to some guy in Houston, saying uh, everything's okay. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The shuttle program was developing when I was in elementary school. and The Challenger disaster was huge news when I was in, in middle school. Actually sending a rocket up, capable of returning it back to the pad. That still leaves me in shock. I've been pretty connected to NASA throughout my life. You know, we have a huge NASA facility in Wallops Island on the eastern shore of Virginia. The drone runway was an excellent project. It really gave the entire company a sense of pride in that we were contributing to you know, space exploration at such a local level. The drone runway consisted of a 2,800 foot asphalt runway, 15,000 square foot concrete landing pad, a 2,500 foot service road, and a 3,700 foot access road. And Virginia Space uh, contacted us about helping them uh, administer this particular project. The Commonwealth of Virginia funded $5.8 million to go develop this runway. We actually had the engineering and the permits turned over uh, or transferred to Virginia Space, and we have uh, built this runway, which is a key part of the entire infrastructure at the Wallops Flight Facility. It's purposely built for drones. Customers will obviously be the government, NASA, DOD, but we will be able to fly commercial as well. We started the project in April of 2016. It sounded like a neat project, tight schedule. It sounded like it was gonna be a little adventurous. Most of the land around here is, is sandy. Getting materials back and forth to the job was a little bit complicated. It was just a big swamp, half of it full of water. So you start looking at it, you're going, hmm, it's gonna be fun. We installed fabric and started bringing in fill material. The base stone that we imported from, from the quarry. The environmental issues had the biggest impact on the project. They used to drop bombs on that end of Wallops Island. We just were unlucky enough to keep finding them and they have to stop work and get the bomb squad there to detonate the bombs. It was interesting at first and then it just got to be a nuisance. <laughs> Extremely high tides encroaching on what we were uh, constructing. We actually had two change orders. The addition of the concrete uh, landing pad that allowed vertical takeoff for, for drones. They had to uh, install a perimeter erosion control stone to stabilize it and uh, extensive erosion control measures. It was about nine months to complete the runway. As they had uh, scheduled the governor to land on the runway, so with his schedule, you had to meet it one way or another. And we met it. There is a general contractor that's building a hangar for the drones. And then we've got to go back and do some finished paving around the hangar. And we also supplied the uh, concrete for the hangar floor. We have special use airspace, restricted airspace that the government entities can use, as well as uh, they can, the NASA has the ability to uh, give permission or turn that airspace off, if you will. We're continuously involved over there and try and keep our hands in the work as much as we can. All of that should lead to good services for the customers, but flow down is an economic impact to the region as well. See that the development takes place here. Uh, I think it's probably a smart idea. Probably expensive up front, but uh, smart idea. Branska did an excellent job, very cost effective, met the schedule, helped us pave the road in and out and widen it. Just a lot of things that went well and we have a great asset down there. I'm thankful to be a part of what's continuing to happen at Wallace. My father did a lot of work out there in the construction business. My grandfather actually worked at Wallace. I myself did, did a lot of work out there throughout my career. At the end of the day, it went rather smoothly.